Hello and good evening, YouTube. This is Kamikaze Games, and I know exactly what you're wondering. Kamikaze, why are you so sexy? And the answer to that question is Clinique. But that's not why I'm here today. The video that you're about to watch was recorded in August of 2020. The reason that it hasn't been uploaded yet is because I forgot that it existed. As I explained during the video, this uh, was recorded to the videos tab on my computer, which I never go to because there's nothing in there. So, when I was randomly cleaning up my hard drive the other day, I looked into the video section and I found the MP4s for the video that you're about to watch. Two sessions of Juice 2 that never saw the light of day. And I completely forgot about their existence until a few days ago. So, enjoy a playthrough of Juice 2 Lost to Time, but um, there's only two sessions from 2020. Once we get to part three, there will be stuff that is from modern day, and it will be just as good, because both of these, all of this content is great. Everything on this channel is fire. Everything on this channel is 10 out of 10. If you question that, get out of here. Um, and, if you, and if you don't get out of here, then I will hunt you down with my Clinique bottles, and I will throw my Clinique bottles at your face, and you will be um, marred. Um, horribly, but at least your skin will be silky smooth. In any case, I have gone on for way too long. Here's the video. Enjoy. Look, it's a defunct game punk publisher. Whoa. <laughs> Another defunct game thing. Now it's a game developer that's defunct. Oh no! Oh no! Not again! <laughs> That's right. Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Yep. <laughs> We're doing it again, and I'm getting a text immediately as the game is starting. So fucking natural. Natural. Expected. If anything, anticipate it. Hello, good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to Comcast Games Channel. You you know what this is. In 2014, I did a full playthrough of Juiced 2 Hot Import Nights on PS2. Since then, there have been like three different people that told me that the PS3 version is different. We are going to determine this today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Juiced 2 on import nights on PS3. Great. I can't wait. Oh man, these characters we will never see again for the rest of the game. Probably because they died in the intro sequence. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The the start screen is animated. The fucking control isn't on. Sorry. Don't go to a demo. Don't go to a demo. Okay. Look at this. Oh, oh, it looks so bad. Oh, it looks horrible. All right. Hello? Um, yeah, there's only one way. Only one way that we can do this. If we're going to be doing Juice 2 on the Kamikaze Games channel, there is only one alias. Only one. There can be only one on here. But we can actually have more than just a first name in this. So I'm going to go to randomnamegenerator.com. We are going to generate a random last name. Do, 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 random name generator. Behind the name. That's the service that I use. Hargrave. Joss Shashi Hargrave from South Africa, Durban, South Africa, 44 years old. The man is going to die of an unspecified illness in 2066. He'll live to the age of 89. What a chat. All right, Stupid Hargrave. There we go. Stupid Hargrave. Absolutely perfect. How do I, how do I end? How do I end? Um... You're kidding me. You're, 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 you're actually kidding me. Is it grave? 
Is grave a bad word for you? How about har grade? Har har great? Har great. I can't believe this. Uh, we're, let's just randomly generate a new name. How about regenerate? I regenerated now. Giordano. Let's go. Giordano. What? Giordano. From Nigeria. What? Stupid Giordano. It must have been grave. Because it's letting me do that. Stupid Giordano. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, we're playing the game. Let's go. Saving game, actually. We're not playing, we're just saving. Okay, so... We have a grand total of two people to choose from. Stupid Giordano could have the peace shirt. Oh man, look at that. Alright, let's flip a coin. Do I have any coins? Do I have any coins? I don't think I have any coins. Well, this is the most cursed universe where I, where I don't even have a quarter on hand. Are you kidding me? I got a bottle cap. I guess I'm flipping the bottle cap. Um, top of the bottle cap for guy, bottom of the bottle cap for girl. Oh! It's bottom of the bottle cap. Stupid Giordano is a woman. Stupid was a woman the whole time. In the first game, in the second game. Oh, finally we get to pick our actual cat. Ooh. There's Tanisha. There's fucking Sheila from Vigilante 8. There's Michelle Rodriguez with combat pants. Let's go. Oh, and Mary Jane. Mary Jane from the Spider-Man games. Yo. <laughs> oh, man. I kind of like... I'm, I'm digging the peace shirt. I'm digging the peace shirt. Oh my god, we get to edit our character, dude, what? What is this MMO? This juiced MMO. I've been... I've been missing out on this my entire life. She's going to be skin and bones. Oh my god, I'm pinching her face in. Oh no. Ew. Ew. Let's get some eyes here. Ah, uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Blue eyes are the only way to go. There we go. You know, I was, when I went to school in South Dakota, one day they had a woman in who was talking about like the Holocaust or something, or like discrimination or whatever, and she had Jolly Ranchers, but she only gave the Jolly Ranchers to people with green eyes. So that was discrimination and all that shit. But like, jaw fullness, there we go. We're gonna have a fucking killer jawline. Beautiful woman, oh my god. Um, oh, it's so weird. Oh, it's not human. This is worse than The Sims. Ew. But, but then she taught us that like discrimination was bad, right? Well, then she gave everyone in the class a Jolly Rancher, but then she gave another Jolly Rancher to the kids with green eyes. And it's like, that's still discrimination. What are you doing? Late. I do not appreciate this. Ah, spray tan. There, good enough. She's starting to look like the chick from the Grand Theft Auto 3 cover. Edit lip color. Oh my goodness gracious. That is some sick lipstick. It matches her hair. I don't think that's a good thing though, but it does match her hair. Ooh, ooh, I, I'm digging the pink. Ooh, I'm digging the pink. That's some good lip, lip gloss. Come on, we need to get through this so that I can turn off the copyrighted music. No, we're keeping the peace tea. Get out of here. Let's see what the other options are for pants. Maybe a short, 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 short skirt is not appropriate for driving race cars. Yes, the cargo pants are staying. Comment section, get out of here. The cargo pants are staying. Oh man, oh look at these colors. Oh my God, the design is all there. I've been recording for 15 minutes. Oh, we can select hat. Yes. Oh my God, please tell me there's a trilby. What is that? What is that? That is disgusting. No. Ew. Beanie. We could have created Tim Pool, man. Is that a do-rag? 
I think we have to have the new rain. To be honest, we need the new rain. How do I start the game? There we go, done. Taking photo, oh great. Man, we're gonna be entered into the NSA system. Fantastic, that's exactly what I needed. Hey, I'm Ursula. Oh, like the, who? I can't hear you. Oh, the game is so quiet. Don't tell me that there's like dance sequences and shit like that. You think the servers for this game are still on? Your DNA strand wrecks your driving style and experience. It evolves as you play. If you're all aggro and take risks, your DNA will burn like fire. Mm -hmm. If you're cold and ruthless, you'll be cool as ice. Or like me, a zen balance of the two. Your DNA is a clean slate. Cherry. So enter the Hot Import Nights qualifier and show me what you're made of. That blood's not. Alright. Well... First things first, let's go and turn off the music. <laughs> Not turn off the music, just turn it down. I hate turning off the music in these games because a lot of the times the music is what makes the games. Juiced, for example, the original, not this garbage. Um, but like, yeah. It, it's just, you don't have the same experience of the game. Let's get into the game. Just get into the game before I do something I'm gonna regret. Oh, the hidden invitation challenge. All right, full disclosure, I 100 percent it. Juice 2 on PS2 before playing this. <laughs> also, 100% in Juice 1. Um, actually, I didn't 100% Juice 2 because the game keeps fucking crashing. It just crashes between tournament races. You get the final race in the tournament, you've done about six goddamn races already. And then the game just fucking crashes on the loading screen, coming back to get your auto save, to save all of the progress that you've just made and over the course of the last half hour. And it just fucking crashes. Oh, the graphics are decent. Oh, no, they are not. They most certainly are not. Oh, no, no, no. This is Tyrone. Ew, what have they done to you, Tyrone? His DNA is cooking, so don't... Oh, they're only a picture in the other game. With crystal cool DNA that will put you on ice. Place a bet with her and break the ice. Go ahead, put your money down. All right. So the thing about crystal is that basically whatever you offer, she'll usually just cut it in half. So 4,000, she'll probably want 2,500. No, she literally cut it in half. Incredible. What are the graphics on these cars, though? Look at this. Look at this. You're so sweet. Let's go. Okay. Thanks. I appreciate the thought. Now scope out the rest of the grid. And when you're good to go... There I am. Look, stupid Giordano. This car is worth nothing. It was registered 24th of August 2020. The first owner was TK. TK. He gave it the what? What? TK. The absolute Omega Chad. He's back. Not in the game, but he's giving me cars again. Just like in the original game. Oh, oh, my ATM machine. Oh, and Leon's driving a CRX. You love to see it. Oh, oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my god, dude. Alright, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Loading screen? Please don't tell me this shit's gonna crash just like the other one. Oh, it's the same start sequence. Oh, what are the controls? Ah, it's R2. Okay. I was pressing X. That was a horrible mistake. What is this, dude? Look at this. Oh my god, look at the... This is like Watch Dogs on E3. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I don't, rec I don't recognize this track. No way I do recognize this track. This is like the, this is the one in Rome, isn't it? Right? This is this the Rome? So spooking is still in this. Oh no, it's still in this game. Um. Okay, it's two laps. No, I actually don't recognize this track. So, did you just call me by my name, bitch? Did you hear that? I think the game audio is turned way down. I have to really be, this is really finicky with the new version of Game Capture. You know, the original 1.0 Game Capture software worked really well with my Windows 7 computer, but now it literally doesn't work at all with this Windows 10 computer. What button is boost? Oh, that's a handbrake. Oh, that does nothing. I guess pressing square gives me a text from my mom. We got a podium. Do we actually have to literally walk up to the... No, the game doesn't buy itself. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, she is very hyped. Oh, she is super satisfied about the fact that she is... Oh my god. This woman. This woman is a lunatic. Alright. Well, $10,000. Sick. I already have $100,000. Are you actually shitting me? Why are we doing this? I'm already filthy goddamn rich. For God's sake, I could put a good down payment on some student loans with that kind of money. I could cut off like a good two years with that kind of money. All right, French Revolution. Oh man, this is gonna be a disastrous racetrack. Drifting's the new way to get around the track. Check oh out yeah, the drifting. So the thing about Juice One is that drifting wasn't in the game. You only did it in show-offs, and it was worth, like, basically nothing. It was garbage. And it still is garbage. Oh, we're already going. Oh, we're already going. My hands are not on the controller. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see if I can still drift. So. Oh, my God. Look at the graphics, though. This is straight good. Is this cell- is this cell shaded? Is this why it looks as good as it does? Because it's cell shaded? Or is it just, like... Oh, oh, I think I know what this one is. This is, this is also, this is like in the, in, in PS2 land. This is like, uh, Laps of the Gods or something, I think. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make <laughs> is that this is weird. This is just, it's like I'm dreaming. Well, <laughs> there goes that. So, like I said, I practiced a shit ton in Juice 2. I wasn't even planning on doing this series until I saw uh, Juice 2 come up on uh, on eBay. This is actually like the uh, this is like a the, a PAL version of this game. Oh my God! Points wasted. One hundred forty-five thousand. Why am I garbage? Chat. I don't have a chat. This isn't live. It's comment section. Why am I garbage? Well, Juice 2, Hot Import Nights. Oh my god, dude. What am I looking at? What am I doing with my life? Honestly. So I actually did play Juice 1 on the channel, but I didn't finish the arcade because my fucking memory card died. Prototype unlocks all that good shit. Alright, we have the pick of the litter. So I made a horrible mistake in the original playthrough by buying a Citron for $22,000. God, look at this thing. It's like a smart car, except worse. Gross. Um, can you design your goddamn license plate in this game? I hope. Oh, I, I live and I pray. What's in the Ford garage here? The Ford boys. A Focus. Disgusting. Oh my god, dude. So, we're gonna get a good drift car. As much as I would love to buy a Honda CRX, because the Honda CRX is the greatest car ever designed by human hands, it's not a good drift car, and there's really no reason to play this game unless you're drifting, so. Because that's entirely what the, uh, what the, uh, physics engine is built off of, so. We're gonna buy an MX-5 Miata, because this is Need for Speed Underground. <laughs> Miata time, yo, let's go. Here's Let's roll. The history of this ride. Check out these stats: number of previous owners, race pedigree, value, and amount of cash that's been spent oh. on this sled. The car's value is tied to how much money it's won. Lord so have mercy. And, heading, and your car will be worth a mint. Be sure to check the logbook. It'll tell you how the car has been treated. All right. If you say so. I'll try to remember to do that in this playthrough. So yes, we got an MX-5 Miata. Uh, one good thing about Juice 2 is that unlike Juice 1, you start the game with all of the bonus upgrades unlocked. Wow, and it's even animated. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. What? Look at all these options. Bomb X. Bomb X is the bomb. Oh, loot. Look at this shit. There's more than three options, except for the fucking hood, which is one option. So they make they made up for the fact that you only have fucking. <laughs> oh my god, this game! I already hate it. Not fun. I don't want the I don't want the bumblebee looking shit. Give me the, give me that. Oh, mirrors. Yes, this. This is the pinnacle of game design. Ew, that is the same. 
Give me the nice side shits there. Look at that. Look at that. Some skirt action. Some skirt skirt. We're gonna skirt around on the skirts here. You know me, I like to make sure everything matches, so we're gonna have to keep buying bomb acts here. Rim time. Let's get some sweet spokes. Uh let's let's go to Ray's. I know a guy named Ray. I wonder what he's up to. He was out on probation last time I saw him. Let's get this. So there's no respect meter in this game. If you're, you know, here from fucking the first Juice game instead of my first playthrough of this game. You know, I have played through Test Drive U Destruction like three times, but I've only, I think that's the only game I've ever repeated until now. Oh, that's disgusting. Yes, yes, that is art. That is art right there. I am something, I'm what you would call a spoiler expert. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. Alright, I see you. I see you. Look at these. These are some good ass spoilers, dude. Look at that. Ooh, that's not that good. I don't like the one pointers. Ooh, 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 that's real flat. Nice. Wow, some of these are disgusting. Where is that huge one? I don't think it's this one. Uh, there was a really big one. It was a really big one. No. I think I went past it. Ooh, oh man, that's maybe a bit cartoonishly large. Should we get the modest spoiler? Hmm. Because I really like this one. I don't want to be modest. Fuck modesty. Oh man. Ooh. Oh, you take out everything here. Look at all this. All right, so the customization ability is already, oh, you can change the trunk, you can give the trunk carbon fiber. Oh, that is amazing, but it looks stupid. You can change the license plate. Yo, yo. You know, the point of having the K was to shorten it up, but now you really can't do that anymore. I'm gonna keep it, because I'm obnoxious like that. Oh, oh, you can have different, oh, you can have different locales, but you can't have Japan. Why can't you have Japan? I should get, why can't you have like Arabic one? For God's sake, dude. I wanna be able to be like the, uh, the uh, exchange students from my old college. We're gonna go to Germany. There we go. All oh, rear lights, now we're talking. Oh, that's stupid looking. I hate the bumblebee shit. Wide body kits. Well, <laughs> I already put all that shit on, so... Ah, uh, window tint. Oh, it's locked! Bruh! Oh, so the window tint's locked. And the just right height. Okay, the winged organ version makes sense. Seats? Okay. Steering wheel, my god. The level of customization in this game just spits in the face of Juice 2 on PS1. <coughs> we are going <coughs> to put the most important decal on the car. Fatal Brock. So the reason that we are putting decals on the car is if you put uh, certain brand decals on your vehicle, on your vehicle, um, it will give you uh, discounts in the shop. We're going to do a Xeti Racing Clutch. We are going to have Falcon tires in this game, just because that's the first option that comes up when you're, you know, buying shit. So Falcon's going on. Uh, what else? What else? We need brakes. We need brake man. Brake man. Do -do 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 -do. No, we can do APR. That's actually faster. Y'all remember Coney 2012? You know, there's gonna be a, there's gonna come a time where someone born after Coney 2012 is gonna go on the internet and they're gonna see Coney 2012 and they're gonna be like, Yo, what is this? All right, perfect. That should be all the manufacturer logos that I need, but I'll probably you know. Eventually, I have to come and get more. So no, 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 no. We have to store this so that whenever I get a new car, I can put this on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Paint shop. Okay, what kind of options do we have? Thin films. Is this unlocked? I guess it is twenty thousand dollars. Are you shitting me? Doesn't even look good. Matt, we need to get some matte black. Um, I like me a lime green. Oh, oh, that's so, oh. Oh, oh, it's so in your face. 
Oh, you can definitely tell the game limits. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice color. Oh, and it matches the license plate. Yo. Oh, it's meant to be. It is meant to be. Oh, that's beautiful. This is the spot to seriously tune the performance of your ride. Check out what you can do to a car. Pretty hot. On top of that, there are three types of mods for you to play with. Oh, the fucking stupid ass game capture reset my goddamn words. It's probably saving the stupid goddamn video to the videos folder. You know that thing that you never use? Yeah, it's probably that's probably where it's saving it to. In fact, we can look this up now. Yes, that's where it's that's where it's saving it to. I hate I hate game capture. I hate Windows 10. Power package, okay. Oh, we already have it unlocked. All right, so we could do a lap time challenge. We already have all those basics installed, so that's cool. Guess that came for free. I guess TK is pulling his weight in the back room at the uh, at the car dealership. It's not the used dealership anymore. No more Mr. Jeff's Motors for us. You know, I picked the perfect time to record this game when I'm getting texts from every goddamn where. All right, screw it. I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna get into the game. Because we've been here for how goddamn long. I've been recording for over a half an hour at this point. We're just gonna do a race so we can start this game. All right, go race. All right, so it's the same thing as before. We got all the way up there, but we have a long way to go. Listen up, Brooke. If you wanna make the next league, you gotta- Did you just say Brooke? There's circuit goals, drifting goals, gambling goals, plus plenty more for you to get after. There's more than one way to make a goal, so go on and pick your poison. Oh my god. Why do we have to have the dancing prostitutes in the background? You know, I'm not even a, I'm not even far left anymore, and yet even I believe that this is objectifying women. Alright, let's do a race, fuck it. US circuit race. Let's hope there's an eliminator race in America. Events where you can meet your goals. Remember, you can meet yes. more than one goal at an event. You'll get a tip for each goal you make. Yeah, I could probably get all six of those goals in this race. I don't know who am I supposed to be betting with. Just a twenty-five hundred dollar driver bet with anyone, anyone in the world. All right, we're playing the godforsaken game. I just just spent. I, basically, the past half an hour has just been character creation. Oh, man. Okay. All right. This is a very easy track. Look at that. Look at the shape of this shit. Why is the White House in the background? What? Are we racing down Presidential Boulevard right now? What? Pennsylvania Avenue. Oh, my God. It's the legislature. What? Bruh. Is this shit in session? Are we being miscreants right now? Look at my car. Oh, it's gross at night. Always down with Keiko. She's been driving hot imports since her 17th birthday. And all that track time is hardwired her What was I doing on my 17th birthday? Right that would have been 2014. I, th I, I could actually, you know what? I could actually check and see what I uploaded that day. Actually, no, I can't because YouTube fucked up their goddamn um, video search thing with their shitty ass new studio. Fucking bitch ass YouTube. Kiko, we're gonna place a bet with you because you usually raise. Five thousand. Take it or leave it. You're a bitch, Kiko. So this is twenty five hundred dollar bet, but it actually is a five thousand dollar bet because when you're all right, sure, whatever you say. But whenever you lose, whenever you finish, it'll give you. It'll, you know, it took. 2500 for both of us, and when we win this, because we're going to win this, um, it'll give us back 5000 so that's going to count for the $2,500 bet. So, yeah, let's go. Crystal Simmons, I need to spook your bitch eggs. Oh, the car turns on a dime, though. Oh, man. Oh, we put in the, oh, we put in the good handle in the last one. Well, so much for Crystal. Uh... We're sliding and profiling. Okay, this is an eliminator, so I actually need to be good. I also need to figure out where the boost button is. Which button's boost? Game. Game. That's changing view. There's a cockpit view in this game. That's actually kind of dope. Okay. Which button is boost? Seriously. Please. It's triangle. Unbelievable. This is the only game that I've ever played in my life that has had triangle as the default boost button. Alright, we're in the lead. We're in the lead, everything. 
We got some boost. Alright, so in this game, Nitrous is in by default. In every other, you know, video game ever made, you have to buy Nitro. And in this game, the only way to get Nitro is to do power slide. So basically, if you're not power sliding every single corner, you are playing the game wrong. And in this game, supercars barely ever can drift. So the supercars are the worst cars in the game. If you can take a muscle car to the final league, you're gonna just wipe the floor with the competition. Oh god, uh... Alright. Hi Kiko. You're full shit. And I'm a face! And I'm a face, baby girl! Okay. Just gonna body slam the wall there. Don't mind me. No, I shouldn't have done this. Stacy's gonna kill me! What? Yeah, these guys talk to you during the game. Too, by the way. You, the, in Juice 2, there were little pictures that flashed up on the screen whenever someone was talking to you. But, even that, that, that this game doesn't have that, which I find kind of surprising. I feel like that would be a thing that this game would have and the other would not. Alright, well, we're getting a lot of accomplishments. Kiko lost, we got the bat. Stupid Giordano has gone to victory lane. Alpha. Oh my god, dude, these prostitutes. You know, you ever played Grand Theft Auto 4? You ever get the Carmen girlfriend? I was very confused back in the day why she would like to go to strip clubs. I was very confused back in the day. I didn't understand that. My young 14-year-old mind could not wrap its little fingers around that. Was I 14 back then? Yeah, I was 14 back then, I think. Anyway... I was gonna say that I don't really know if Stupid Giordano appreciates the prostitutes here. Maybe Stupid Giordano is like at the local uh, socialism chapter and she's coming in to these races and she's trying to wipe the floor with the competition with the ultimate goal of destroying hot import nights so these prostitutes can be freed from their chains. That's gonna be, that's my story for this game anyway. That's gonna be my story for this game and I'm gonna stick with, so yeah, we just accomplished one race and basically got half of this done. We could do a drift, we could beat Bobby Sawyer, we could break the speed barrier, we could get airtime. Yeah, we could probably beat Bobby Sawyer here. We could probably do all of these by beating Bobby Sawyer, so. Blitz Assault. Gladiator Shadow, hey, that's from the actual game. Lethal Rush. Bush? Lethal Bush? Is that W? Do I spy George W? Alright, this track has air time, so we're gonna go here. Oh man. Oh, I think this is the I think this is toboggan run in the original game. And we're going the other way around the track. Maybe this game has reverse versions of the track, and the other one was just incapable of turning the cars in the other direction for one version of the event compared to the other. This is this, it's strange, you know, that era where, I think there was a dude that made a video about the PS2, PS3 crossover era, where games were being, where same games were being made for both consoles, but they were completely different. I'm pretty sure there's a guy that made a video about that, and he, and he requested some footage from my NASCAR weight review, and I was like, yo, I really don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't think I ever watched that video, but he did remind me to go buy uh, Need for Speed Underground on PS3. Which I still have not played. Or undercover. Grew up helping her dad wrench cars on a Kansas pig farm. But she ain't no backward country bumpkin when it comes to racing and drifting. Uh, she ain't no backwood country bumpkin, but her name is Crystal, so she probably does Crystal. So maybe she is. Alright, Bobby Sawyer. Bobby Sawyer is the best character in this game because he is a moron. He will always double your bet no matter what it is. Yeah. <laughs> what a weirdo. Look at his broken face. Take that action. Yeah, sure, Bobby. Sure. So, everyone else in the game has pink slips. And whenever you their win column, you know, does not go up. So, eventually, you're going to be getting into this game, and you're going to see. You are going to see that these guys are going to sink so much money into their cars and get absolutely nothing out of it. It's sad, honestly. 
Nice countdown. Alright, I don't need to spook anyone in this race, but, you know, just by existing, I could probably spook someone. Because, if you remember from Juice 1, the, uh, the game, you could tailgate them, and sometimes it would wreck them, and sometimes it wouldn't. What, ten overtakes. My goodness gracious. I'm your everyday Lewis Hamilton over here. That was a weird sound. Oh, sorry. Shut up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do they seriously talk to you after every single pass now? Could you stop spinning in front of me, by the way? I don't think spooking gives you boost, even though that would be pretty cute. It is harder to spook someone when you're betting with them. So like in a pink slip race or whatever, or whenever you're just doing a five goddamn thousand dollar bet. You know? You're gonna get so much money over the course of this game that it's gonna be pointless to not do a driver bet every single race. Yeah, you're about to be when I send you into the goddamn off the cliff here. Okay, so I'm terrible at driving. So you'll see the driver DNA flash up at the bottom of the screen, and I've been playing this game on both platforms now for over, pro probably nearing on 10 years, probably bordering on 10 years, and I still don't have any idea the conditions that you need to meet to win some of these, to get to get the driver DNA to do, to do what, it, what you want it to do. I, can, I can't use words right now. What's the speed barrier, by the way? Should, is it 180? I think I can get it next time by. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, like, I, that driver DNA just flashes up at the most random times, and like, the coring one is the only one that I really understand. Is that, okay, if you, if you go around the track, and you don't hit the wall every single time, your cornering will go blue. That is the only one that I can comprehend. 50 corners, look at that, look at that. Look at me already making acknowledgments here. But, yeah. But like fucking points in drifting or like nitrous, I could not even begin to describe what you have to do to get the nitrous to go from red to blue. I, I have no idea. I have no grounding in reality for that. You know? I don't understand. But, um, yeah. This is Juice 2. I'm trying to build boost right now, but it's... Is it full? Or... I think the drift meter is full, or the boost meter is full, actually. So, I need to find a good straightaway here so I can get the speed barrier thing or whatever. Where is a good straightaway? I need some straightaway. That is not a straightaway. Wow. Did it? What? Just lost my hood. Oh, shit. There's damage in this. Wait. Wait, no one told damage. Alright, there we go, I got the speed back. <laughs> no one told me there was going to be damage. Hold on a second. Oh, the race is over. Well, it's a good thing I used the nitrous one I did. Well then. Um, I was unaware that there was damage. There's no damage in the PS2 version, even though they were perfectly capable of having damage in the Juice 1 game. Oh my god, dude. $5,000 for winning that. $20,000 for winning the bet. I've almost made back all the money I wasted on making the car. Did they not repair the damage between the scenes? Is my car okay back there? Hello? Car? They did repair it! Are you serious? It's just sitting back there without a hood. What? Oh, and this game is stupid. It saves the game before the loading screen to take you back to the menu so it doesn't crash during the stupid loading screen and make you lose all your fucking progress. What a novel idea. And we can't be. Oh, it's saved again. You know what? Honestly, that's fine. The more saving, the better. If I don't have to fucking do this shit again. As long as I don't have to do anything again. Alright, what's the one shits that I haven't done yet? I haven't done drifting yet. Didn't even get the airtime. What is that shit? That track was supposed to be airtime. Alright, so we can do the next event without... Oh, nice. Well, that was not efficient. 
I mean, there's no reason not to do the drifts right now. Just get get it out of the way, you know. Frostbite, nah. Yeah. That's black ice is the better one. Is the better snow zone. Look at this kidney bean shaped shaped track. What is this garbage? Terrible track. Terrible game. Wow, lonely streams are still brutal. Wow. This is totally Good lord. Oh, because it has to load all this tertiary shit. The environment. Probably load the entire mountain back there. It's probably not even a JPEG. That's probably an actual polygonal mountain back there. With, you know, surface ability and everything. Oh my god, hello? Wow, that color is not good. Yeah, you already said this. Trash bag. Trash can bitch. Alright, give me 5,000, Tyrone. Give me five, baby. Yeah, he always, usually, he usually increases it by just a little bit. These guys really are setting their ways. Good. Now prepare for poverty. They are just hideously ugly, aren't they? These characters just do not look good. They must have been really proud of the character design feature that they put in this game. So, the real question. Are the servers still up for this game? Oh man, oh man. Oh, it's so gross. Kinda reminds me of Need for Speed Pro Street. The graphics do. Oh man, oh man, oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's very loud. Oh man, oh it is extremely loud. Can you even hear me right now? This shit is blaring. What is happening? Why is it so fucking loud, dude? What? This part of the game is just randomly louder than everything else that we've done. So, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just lost half the fucking points. God, it's loud, dude. Why? This is just screaming. I guess it would be loud to go to one of these drift of... Could you fucking not? Yeah, it's just, it's just look at this shit on the bottom of the screen. What's it even doing? Look at it, it just changes every single thing that you do. Look at it. Has there been a second of this entire event that it has not been flashing down there? Good God Almighty. I probably could have gotten a million points in that. You know, you're only supposed to get 50,000. We were only supposed to get 50,000 points to get the advancement goal. And yet, here I am, about to get a million. And you know I had to get this many points, because look at Bobby Goddamn Sawyer. Good Lord, dude. Why are these guys so good suddenly? They're trash in the PS2 version. The AI is atrocious in the PS2 version. Are these guys actually good, though? Or is it just rewarding a bunch of points? Or is this just a really easy track? There are many things, many, many possibilities as to what's going on here. Oh, my God. Well, there you go. Uh, uh, <laughs> a shit fuck ton of points, and the DNA is just still going. One million drift points. Hell yeah. We made it. Well, I bet Tyrone is proud of himself for raising the bet now, ain't he? Ain't he? Good lord. All right. Well, five, 5,000 winnings. And you see the bet? The bets are where your money maker is. You are going to get all your money in this game for the bets. But like the race winnings mean absolutely nothing after a while. So that was a drift of me. Very fun. Very exciting. I bet you're glad that you sat through that. Should I just say fucking in 100% this game? Why not, honestly? I think the actual races are the exact same as, uh... As, uh, as the PS2 one, because... I recognize basically everything at this point, except for, like, the actual gameplay, like the, like, the game advancements themselves. Okay, so, we have six visual things. 
No, the question is, how do I... Uh, How do I unlock the, the upgrades? Tin windows, there we go. See, I have six unlocked. Well, shit. Nice. Now I can do all the visual mod upgrades. Woo! Because all this stuff is garbage. <laughs> it's just trash. I never use that garbage. Which means we can change these now. Woo! Tin windows. All the way to black. No, we can have it be all, oh, we can have it be different colors. Look at the colors. Yo! Oh, oh, look at that citrus. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you can make it deeper. Okay, maybe not that deep. Oh, dude, look at it. Oh, I love it. Oh, we can make, oh, we can have all my friends know the low rider. 15, $8,500 to do that. Hell yeah. Seats. Ooh, racing seats. Oh, I can make it look like my goddamn gaming chair, yo. Yo. Ew. Oh, there it is. There's my gaming chair, almost. Yep. Yep. Well, actually, is there, there's no yellow. Oh, there's a yellow option. Flat black. Screw you. Steering wheel. Screw you, Mazda. I need a G27 in here. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my god, ew, what are these? I'm surprised you can't change the sound system in this game. Alright, so it's a convertible right now. Now it's not a convertible. Or it is a convertible still. Now it's a hard top. Now it's a hard top with a roof scoop. It's still hard top. Look at that. You know, this reminds me of GTA San Andreas where I would take the lowrider cars and put roofs on them just so they were different. Roof down, damn it. I had to fucking unlock a mod to be able to put my goddamn convertible top down. Imagine that. Alright. Oh, this thing is hot. Oh, this thing is hot. Okay, we're gonna change the paint though, because it looks gross at the track. Oh, oh, there it is. That's the color I was looking for. Can you change the rim color? What the fuck? I don't think you can change the rim color. Bruh. I don't think you're allowed to change the rim color in this game. Okay, that's an oversight. That's a bit of an oversight, wouldn't you say? Well, <laughs> I guess we may as well do the advancement thing. I think I'm going to do this like the Juice 1 playthrough where I'm going to have this uploaded on Sundays. And we'll do like one hour long episodes for it. Ish. So, let's go and let's do this just so I can 100% this game. French Revolution, god damn it. Oh, they have the track map in the loading screen all the time now. Oh, you're going around the Eiffel Tower. Bruh, they actually set up this shit around the Eiffel Tower. Is this legal? Can you actually do this? Isn't there like regulations that would prevent something like this? I feel like this is incredibly needlessly dangerous. We are taking risks that we do not need to be taking. Oh man, look at me in my convertible. <laughs> Yo. I love everything about this, except for that drift. That drift is ass. The game is still very loud. Oh. Oh, I'm terrible at drifting as it turns out. I think a lot of this is actually just getting used to the uh, R2 thing, as I've been playing this game for like a week now using X and square to stop and go, right? Now I'm just completely changing the uh, changing the way that this goes here. It's like an entirely different world now. But the physics engine is still very similar. The cars feel a bit heavier, but for the most part it feels it feels feels like juice too, which, you know, should, it, sh it shouldn't feel like juice at all, it should just... <laughs> we all know my opinion on this game. We all know my opinion on the fact that they kind of took the spirit out of juice when they made this, and it's like... 
Like, there's no crews in this game. I mean, there are crew races, but there's no actual crews. You know, you're not racing for territory. You're just racing a race. There's not a randomly generated calendar that's giving you the races. It's all predetermined. Was that me? Is that my character that just said that? Good lord. Well, there's $5,000. Thanks. Well, nothing left to do but do the advancement race now and hope that the, uh, that the track has a lot of jumps. Did it auto save at any point there? Whatever, who cares? Okay, so we just gotta do this now. Gotta do the eliminator race. Italy eliminator race. Italy eliminator race. All right. Well, only way to get going is to get going, I suppose. Nitrous Maximus. Oh. Oh, this game. Cringe inducing. So yeah, I guess the people that said that this game was different on PS3, they weren't wrong. They were certainly not wrong. So this actually does lead into the question, should I? Get back into Need for Speed <laughs> after the absolute disaster that Underground was. Should I get back into Need for Speed and do Undercover next? Nitrous, Nitrous Maximus. Oh. All right. Yeah, look at me with my scissor door. Even though there's no roof on the car, it's really stupid looking. Fine, we'll take some of Leon's money in that case. He's not even looking at me. The absolute disrespect. Cool. That's cool. Just one thing. Keep the bump in the ground after the day is good. Alright. I didn't hear a word he said. <laughs> the man can't help himself. He must dance. He must dance. It is required by law. The man must dance. Well, looks like we're by far the fastest car at the track here, so. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, at this point, <laughs> at this point, I think you get the idea. It's kind of going to be rough to do an actual full playthrough of this. Oh man. Well. Wasn't I supposed to do Ford Racing 2 next? <laughs> oh no. Look, the PS3 is out. Okay? So it's staying out. We're not putting it back. Alright, I have to win this race, I think. Pretty sure I'm required to win this race, so we should probably focus on winning this race. I guess we're just gonna have to have some conversations. Oh no, before. Whatever will I do about this? When I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> There's no jumps at this track. What is this garbage? We're not getting any airtime. Okay, cool. Alright, Lee. Alright. Um so, Juice 2. It definitely still does not feel like Juice. I will say that much. Like, the thing about it is that I didn't expect a lot of PS3 games that had PS2 counterparts to be that much different from the PS2 counterpart because I have games like uh, Madden. I have Madden 10 on PS3 and it is garbage in comparison to Madden 10 on PS2. Like, there has not been a good Madden game since, like, what, Madden 12? And even that, even that wasn't really that good. People said Madden died and Madden 08, and, like, I'm sitting over here with Madden 09 and Madden 10, and I'm like, oh no, my bumper! Bruh, my bumper! I paid a lot of money for that! <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you do. 
You're not wrong. I like the little juice logo that pops up on the corner of the screen when it boosts this ball. That, that's, that's when you know that the car is indeed juice. This is a provable fact. There is evidence to support it. Man, I am beating the shit out of this car. I didn't think I was this bad at this game. Whoa, those guys came out of nowhere. Bro, where are you guys? What, how, are you this, how are you this fast? How are you men this fast? This track's in the PS2 version, so like, I feel like I'm good. I've put no upgrades into this car mechanically. It came with the first level upgrade for free. So that's convenient, to say the least. When we start unlocking prototype mods, you know, that's going to make things so much easier because you see, you saw on the loading screen or the tuning screen how there's lock symbols. Well, you're supposed to do an advancement goal. You have to do a challenge. The crew challenges from the original game, they come back, but you have to do it to unlock, you know, performance mods now, which is really stupid. I mean, I've never liked the crew challenges to begin with, so... That's where I stand on that. But, uh, okay, well, I'm screwed. Gotta use all the boost. All the boost in the known universe. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh there goes something else. I'm not sure what just came off, but it, I definitely don't have something now. Did I lose another bumper? Did it respawn a bumper onto my car out of pity and then just make it fall off again? That very well could have been what happened there. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. The car does not handle. It cannot handle this situation before it. Alright. Oh, that's a wall. I'm glad the performance of the car is unimpeded by the fact that I am brutalizing it. Piece by piece. Oh my goodness gracious, well, well there's level one, we completed level one. 51,000, yay, that makes up for all the money that I've dumped in this car. Woo, winner, got the eliminator race in. There was still no airtime in that race though. How, dude? How have we managed to go this long? We've had a whole two and a half seconds of airtime in this. Like this physics engine is so broken in the PS2 version, you practically get two seconds of airtime before the race even starts. Well, I've been promoted, so that's good at least. So when you get promoted, you have to either buy a new car or upgrade your existing car. Well, considering the fact that I, bu I dumped a bunch of money into this already, we may as well do this. And you know what? To end this off for this one, because I'm probably going to do a lot of, you know, condensing in this, let's just do a couple of challenges. I was hoping there'd be a drift challenge, but obviously there isn't. That'd be too easy. A lot of these are beat car challenges now, so. Let's do a perfect lap challenge. Ew, what is this? Is this a bridge? Why are we driving on a bridge? Wait, is this the one from Gran Turismo 5? Is this that track? That's the that's the highway that you can only go to on like online. Where you go to get the uh, 500 kilometers per hour achievement. This is just like the lap time challenge, but if you hit a barrier. This is just like the lap time challenge, but we haven't done a lap time challenge yet. Bitch. Well. So I'm probably never going to do these. This is probably going to be the only one I do for the rest of the game. Because <laughs> as you're going to see, it's incredibly boring. Because oh. all it is is that we're just going to do a lap by ourselves. With a minimal amount of boost. Especially for the perfect lap challenge, because I'm not going to be driving hard to make sure I don't hit a goddamn wall. Yeah, that was a split. Very nice. You know, it'd be very nice if you started the game out with a full thing of boost. Because this, I feel like, would be a great track for boosting. This looks like a worse track than Tokyo Rush. God, I hope we don't actually have to go here. Over the course of the game. Because Tokyo Rush is the most garbage track in this game. Hopefully it's giving me some leeway. <laughs> Considering this is one of the first challenges in the game. Please. 
Please, some leeway. Can a man get some leeway? 10 seconds. Where's the finish line? Hello? Finish line? Is that the finish line? Oh, it's the finish line. Nice. I think that's me. I think that's stupid. Stupid's voice that we're listening to there. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Well, that's a that's a perfect lap challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, greatest driver of all time. You're watching right here, right now. Yep. <laughs> uh wonder if the last man standing races in this game are just as bad as they are in the PS2. That'd be a big fat meme. Alright, let's just do the fucking beat car challenge too, just to show that off. So in the beat car challenge, can you take a wild guess as to what you're supposed to do in this race? If you guessed knit a sweater, you're incorrect. You actually have to race around this track, and you have to get to the finish line before the car that you're racing. In essence, you have to beat the car. So, yeah. Excuse me. Nice James Bond car, dude. Hello? Car info. $215,000, dude. Look at this. 100, it's a, it's a, it's a Hin Elite. It's the most overpowered car in the game. And we gotta beat him. Oh, we gotta beat the cock. Okay, let's go. It's a five second handicap, are you kidding me? That's not fair. Hello? I'm a league, I'm a league eight car, dude. So in this, you're supposed to beat the car, but it's a super overpowered car, and you're supposed to have a much better handicap than that. Look at this guy. He's already coming through the corner. What? You expect me to, what? This is blatantly unfair, excuse me. Look, he is up my ass. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. This is just a split. That's not even the finish. This man. Dude! 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 What? You can't honestly expect me to do this? Dude! Dude! What? You can't honestly expect me to do this? What? Why is it a five second handicap? This car has no upgrades! Bruh! This isn't fair. This is not fair. I was really hoping I was gonna bump into him into the split there. But he didn't bump the split. He fucking avoided that shit. Like a G. Alright, so this is Driver X. The only other time that you're going to see him, besides the beat car challenge, is when you're doing a crew race, and you pay for him. And he's a million dollars. He is a very high maintenance man. You must pay for a lot of things to make sure that he is ready to exist in your vehicle. Alright, well, I hate this game. <laughs> How come it's so much easier this time? Where is he? What? Did his AI break? Is this like Juice One? I didn't even boost. What happened differently that time? I did the exact same shit. Fuck you. This game sucks. All right, we're gonna be able to show you that you can get discounts now. Discounts exist. Oh my God. And if you stack the discounts, you basically pay nothing for upgrade. Because so I think there's five different things you can buy for the power upgrade, so that's like 25% off if you get everything. Here, I'll show you. Now I'm going to just, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to speak. So this is $10,000 for this upgrade. We have $140,000. So, we're going to put in Edelbrock, and we're going to put in Edelbrock, and we're going to put in Xeddy, and we're going to put in Edelbrock, and we're going to put in an Elbrock. Car upgrade complete. And it costs less than 8000 That's far less impressive than I thought it was going to be. Whatever. 
Uh, suspension, that's why we bought. Coney, brakes, that's why we got brake man. Did we not get brake man? We got APR, but it's, yeah, yeah, we got APR, but it's not saying that I have APR. Well, that's fucking bullshit. Well, at least it's counting Falcon. All right. And now, we just do the weight reduction. You don't get any discounts for weight reduction. Pile of shit. Copper. And, ta-da, we got a level seven car. So, yeah, see, see? I put, I put fucking APR on the car, specifically so that it would, you know, I hate this game. Fine, we'll put Brake Man on, since you want to be fucking stupid. Logo packs. Brake Man. Is it a different APR goddamn logo? That's the only APR logo in there. Fuck you, we're just getting, we're just gonna get, actually we should probably put Bomb X on. Brake Man. Brake Man. Added to decal. There we go. There we go. Another contingency added. Boom, baby. Perfect. You love to see. All right. Well, there's that. That. This has been Juice Two on PS3. Um. Yeah. And it's also on this side. Except they're all backwards. You know, I'm just gonna pretend that we didn't see that. So, the Juice 2 on PS3. We're gonna do the whole game, because I hate myself. Next time, we will be at level 7. We'll do all the level 7 stuff, and we'll see what happens from there. So, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Comic Cuts Games, playing some more Juice 2 for the first time in fucking six years. Good times, man. Hope people actually watch this series. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! Hello, Sigger! It's a big blustery, isn't it? Trying to fly this fucking kite and there's all this goddamn wind! Oh, shit! You saw that shit, right? The cutscene faded out and then, like, a nuke fell and everyone went flying. It's just totally perfect. Yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck is that sound? Oh my god!